First, I'm, I'm well aware. I mean, when I record things and all, I do stutter, I do jump sentence and all, all that. So I was thinking like, is that really a problem? Like, is that really a problem which I should correct? Or should I just, I mean, I don't just let it be. It's kind of like doing the right, correct way of doing a squat and a personal trainer saying, okay, this is how you do it. And then now you're very, being very mindful. You're looking in the mirror. Okay, is this the correct posture? Am I doing it right? Is my form right? And you are very meticulous, but when you're going out there and you have to lift something up, you're not going to look in the mirror and you're not going to analyze yourself. But the hope is that you've done it so many times, the repetition so many times that by the time real life comes where you have to do a squat, you're going to naturally already have that muscle memory. So you don't even have to think about it. So I think that's where we want to get to. And I wouldn't suggest to correct it directly into sales calls because I do think connection is better than trying to correct your filler words and any of that stuff because sometimes filler words are actually good and mm. stuttering is actually good because mm. it can create connectivity and, oh, this person is a human, right? So sometimes that does work, but I do think correcting it personally when you can analyze yourself and record yourself, look at yourself and okay, let me, let me do that again. Let me do that again. And actually practice that by yourself. And then eventually that form will naturally happen outside of you just doing a blog. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I, I really agree on that.